Lee Singh is one of the brightest boys in the school. He's 15 and has composed this piece for his music GCSE. He's not classified as a special needs pupil and therefore does not receive extra individual attention. It's quite exceptional really and you'd see, you'd see people producing similar things at colleges of music or at university departments. He's the first person I've, I've met who's got that sort of degree of competence. And how long have you been teaching for? Eight years. Natasha is 12 and has special needs. She was born with cerebral palsy and is new to Park High. Dressing is a problem. She has her hair short because she couldn't look after her own hair. Um, laces, cutting up food. Um, she has lots of problems, really. Games with other kids. Kids don't like playing with her because um, she's slower. Adapting to life at secondary school is not proving easy for Natasha. If they're writing something, they've got to get something down off the board. You know, they only have have many minutes to get it all down. When Natasha comes home, she'll cry. You didn't have time to get it down, Mum. Unlike Natasha, Lee Sin faces no such hurdles. Yet some teachers believe he should still be classed as a special needs pupil. Children like Lee Sin, for example, who are really exceptional, get no special provision. And that's the thing which can sadden and annoy many teachers. He is a special needs pupil because his own, his own degree of personal advancement is, is vastly more than, uh, than most pupils in the, in the school. For Natasha, it's not just the physical demands of school. She also has to face the cruelty of some children. A couple of the kids are going, oh, you spastic, oh, you can't do this, you can't do that. And it just reduces Tash to tears, and she's got enough to cope with without having to deal with that kind of, you know, from the rest of the kids. But you're going to get it. I mean, she's a loving kid, and... I don't know, I can't stand to watch people sort of dig the knife in, because she tries so hard. At the present moment, I feel that the provision for people who are struggling is, is really excellent. But I think that we've yet to really explore the possibilities for um, helping people like this in to achieve their real potential. He doesn't get a good deal from school. This is her first report. I am disappointed, everything is poor. The only thing that is um, sort of exceptional is her attitude. She's so willing. Do you think that it's a possibility that Natasha, that the, the conclusion might be actually mainstream school is not right for her? No, I don't think that. I think that she'll be okay. I like the idea of these kids entering these schools because it doesn't make them so different, you know, and they are part of society. I mean, there's nothing really wrong, which is not that handicapped, but I really can't see her coping. It will make her feel as though she's failed if I have to take her out, and I don't really want to do that, but I will if it's, if it's necessary. Yes, please. A fight has been broken up. Now John Rumble tries to find out from Robert, who's been attacked, what's happened. How did it start? I don't know. No, did you start punching somebody? No. Right. So somebody started punching you? Yeah. Well, why? Don't know. So somebody just comes up to you and starts to punch you? Yeah. Doesn't make sense, does it? It's unfortunate for Robert that his stonewalling is in vain. His younger brother has already been in and spilled the beans. Well, um, my brother said something, Robert Taylor, my brother, said something about Jamie's girlfriend. So why did Jamie start to punch you then? Who said it was Jamie? I said it was Jamie. You just heard me. Yeah, it weren't Jamie. Why, what did your brother say then? Um, something about she's ugly, something like that, so... <sighs> Dear, I've already seen some other people. So? So, don't try to make out that it wasn't him. So what if it was? Well, 
Uh, don't start to get aggressive with me. He starts hitting him. Do you mean punching him? What yeah. do you mean? Hitting him? Punching him? Kicking him? What? Punching him and I need him to. You think about it. Okay, you don't upset yourself and don't get yourself in that silly situation.